Okay, part two of my project, where I make a go-kart using simple tools and no welder. So Colin, where are we at? Right, so we've got a chassis and we've got our engine mounted. And now we know where the engine is, we can put a seat on. So for the seat, I've got a bit of flat plate and a bit of angle iron. I've just bolted them to it to get these little uh, bolts that already come in it. And then we're just going to pen that on there, just like that. Now, if you ain't got one of these, don't worry about it, because there's going to be a sheet of ply going under the whole thing towards the end. So there's no reason why you can't just sit on that with a bit of an upstand on. So, let's bolt this on here. And there, we can work on our steering column. Now it is the hour between dog and wolf once more. We can feel the stage, so let's set our own scores. When the arrows pass, you won't recognize me There we are, I've got a steering column. It's pretty solid. Now the track rods, bit of 10 mil threaded bar with some rose bearings on the end. You can get rose bearings off eBay, they're about three pound each. If you want to adjust it, you'll just have to undo the bolt, flip the thing off and then wind it back on again. But you know, we can live with that. Now put this little bit of wood up here, not as a bit of decorative thing, but to hold the fuel tank. There's a little bracket here as you can see, because I've managed to cannibalise this little uh, windscreen uh, wash bottle. Now I can't remember what vehicle this came off, but I know it was off a Japanese one, that much is true. But if you have, can't get hold of one of these, if you go on eBay and just search like little mini fuel tank, you can get things like this and then you can screw that to it just the same as you can this. Now if you clip that on there, there's a little slidey bit, that'll go on, and then... Take my little screw I've got in the end there, and that will pop straight down top of the carb, like so. Now, next thing we've got, exhaust pipe, and then do all the electrics. And it's good to do the exhaust pipe first, because time and time again, I've got all my electrics sorted, gone to put the exhaust pipe on, and there's it, oh god, the exhaust pipe's gonna melt all the electrics. Let's do the exhaust pipe first. <laughs> It's so smooth. Right, that's the exhaust fix, looks very nice, but we can't just leave it just hanging around there because it's only connected up onto the engine and that will work its way loose and then it'll be flopping all over the place. But you get this little band which comes with the exhaust, so we're going to stick that around the cam like that, and then we're going to get another bit of threaded bar. We're going to drill holes in our little uh, 45 uprights here, thread it through, through the clamp, but also. Get yourself a little bit of 22 mil plumbing pipe or anything the same diameter pretty much as a set of handlebars because we're going to put that in the end there and also that's going to hold our little start stop switch thing which all comes with a wiring loop and then that will have that nice and secure nice and stumpy nice and neat you can't ask for anything more really <laughs> Now the electrics look more complicated than what they actually are, but you've just got five wires which stick out the engine, which come out from like behind the stator cap. Now there's this other wire which pops out behind the sprocket. That's if you've got like gear lights which tells you what gear you're in, but we don't need to worry about that, so just cut that off. Now then, you basically just connect the five wires up to the engine, and they're these little ones that pop out here. They're all colour coded, so you can't get them wrong. And then all the other bits and bobs, like the stator, the regulator, and the kind of CDI unit, just, you know, kind of just bolt or zip tie up around the frame around here. And then this little 
starter switch, which would go on the handlebars. That's going to go on my little piece of uh, copper down here. And then the uh, ignition key, we can just cable tie that to the side of the frame. And now the only complication I've got on this one, which you might on yours, is I've got one with a starter motor. So you've got a starter solenoid, which basically needs hooking up to the battery. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to stick the battery down here because we've got loads of space around this go-kart. And then by the time we've clipped and cable tied it all up, it'll actually look quite neat and it won't look so complicated. So basically, you're going to need a lot of cable ties for this. Next thing, brakes, accelerator, and gears. And then it's it's done. Now the back brake has actually worked out really well. I've basically just got the caliper, bolted it to a piece of angle iron, about to take a little uh, little kind of half moon out of it so it sits on it properly. And then you just stick it over the disc, like that, and then I can just bolt it to the frame. And there we are. It's a complete fluke, but I'll take it. Gear system, super simple. I basically put the, uh, the gear stick that come with the engine on the engine uh, in a straight up position. There's a little rubber thing on it. If you pull that off, and then we'll stick this bar, which has got a whole hole in each end, shove that across there, and then similar to the, uh, to the brake at the front, I've just got another little bit of metal, which I've hinged on a bolt, and we'll just bolt and connect the two together, and that'll be it. Push forward to go down the gears, pull back to go up the gears. And I've got a little bit of tube, which I can slot over the top, just to uh, make a little bit nicer to grip. And also, if you catch your leg on that, a bit sharp, that is. We don't want that, do we? Health and safety, people. <laughs> now, the accelerator is kind of similar to the brake. Uh, put a bolt right out, slid it over. I've used a bit of box section this time. Stuck a lock nut on it. That's all really nice. Now, I've had to add a, like, a little stopper to this one, because obviously there's a spring in the carburetor. When you take the foot off the pedal, it's going to want to spring forward. So don't... Uh, so it doesn't come too far forward and flop on the ground. It's like this little stopper. So it hits that, can't go anywhere. And then I've bent a little bit of plate up, drilled some holes in it, and that's what the cable's actually going to fix onto for the uh, for the accelerator. Now there's a little stopper up here, which I've just bent a piece of metal up and then got uh, a little inner, one of those things called. Little adjusters, you get them off bike brakes. So I've put one of them on, and then the cable itself, oh, it's a mountain bike gear cable, and you know the little nipple thing on the end, you kind of have to grind that down to a point because where you put it through the little carb floaty mix thingy, it's a tiny little hole. Normally throttle cables have real tiny little beads on the end, but there's no need to go and get one. You can make one yourself because this one needs to be quite long. So if we just shove that in the old carb. There we go. Right, just about done. Now then, last job, I just want to put this bit of plywood underneath. Now the reason why I'm doing that, because we've, you know, haven't welded this together, in theory with bolts, you know, they can, there's a bit of play and stuff like that, so it's going to kind of add a little bit of strength to it. And also, Formula One cars have plywood, so I can't see why we can't. Eh? Hey? There we are, finished! So, all it needs now is taking apart, giving some paint, and then it'll look like this. Other channel does all sorts of other projects, but if you want another no well project, I've actually made a jet engine. 
that's up in this box here. And then if you've made this and it's giving you a little bit of confidence, you want to get a welder and try something very similar, you can make a drift trike, and that's over in this box here. But for now, there we are, the new world go-kart. See you in the next one!